Hi, this is Karthik from Design School by WPAlgorithm.com. In this tutorial, I'll show you all the new features in Elementor version 3.6. I'm talking about the core version. There are three main features. Let's get to them one by one. The first one is the revamped import export tool. So in your dashboard, if you click on Elementor and go to tools, there's something called import export kit. Previously, it used to just import the content created with Elementor. But now you can create or import and export most of your WordPress, excluding premium or paid plugins. So I can simply click on this. You can actually click on start export. You can select all the things that you want to export. Now you can export global fonts, global colors, site layout. You can also export WordPress pages, posts, menus, custom post types. And in this box, you can select all the custom post types that you have created and that you want to export and you can click on kit information give this a name and description I'll just say my kit and you can click on next and in here you can pick all the plugins that you want to export along with your template kit as of now, you can only export Elementor Pro and all the free WordPress plugins. You cannot export paid WordPress plugins, maybe because of licensing problems. So you can simply select the things that you want to export and simply click on create kit. And that will basically give you a zip file with all the elements of your site. And it gives you a brief summary of what you've exported. It shows you everything that it has exported. And next time you want to import to your brand new Elementor website or a website that you have created, you can go to Elementor, click on tools and you can import this and use the kit as a starting point. That is really cool. So that is feature number one. You can simply click here. You can select file and select your newly created zip file. The second feature is now that you can rearrange your global colors and fonts. This is more of a workflow tweak rather than a feature. So you can click on the hamburger menu, click on site settings in any Elementor page, post or template. You can click on global color and now when you hover over it, you can click and drag it wherever you want. Just a needle touch. You can also see that most of the primary colors cannot be deleted. It shows that it can be deleted. You can just add new colors and rename them and use them. But you cannot delete the base colors. The same thing with global fonts. You can rearrange them. But you cannot delete the base fonts. You can create new fonts and use them in your Elementor website. So that is the second feature. Finally, they've added lazy load to your carousels. And also they've optimized DOM output. You may not actually see them. But your users will feel the little breeze in the performance so these are the brand new features with elementor 3.6 there are again ton of features coming in elementor 3.7 pro so make sure you stay tuned for that and also there's a headlining feature of this release which is called elementor flexbox container which is introduced as an experiment i made a couple of videos on it i'll leave links to all those in the description make sure you check it out i'll see you in the next one enjoy your day Take care.